Hello, it's me, R.R. Lee, and this is the Raphael Misadventure. I had to look up and see what a portcullis was for this, and it's the gate that these two guys are standing under. So we're gonna throw a coin under his feet, that gets him to move. It has to be within like two feet of the guy, or he won't go get it. Someone else will get it instead. Like his friend next to him says, Oh, I know you got really bad knees, bro. Let me go pick up that coin for you. It's not like he's going to give him the coin. He keeps it for himself anyway. So I don't even know why he bothers with that. But he steals the kill. Like, he just straight up ruins it. That, that's his entire existence. Our target, anyway. He ruins it. If he goes pick up that coin. And I got 14th place. This is probably the highest time I'm ever going to get. I got the same time in practice. I can't believe that I managed to get this high. And now we have to kill this person with a gargoyle. She'll eventually pass under the gate as well. And we're going to start off as a chef to do it because it's closer. This is where it starts to get complicated. Uh, that's putting it mildly. Level 3 of this is redonkulous. We're gonna throw a coin over there. Okay. They get her to look that way. And we're gonna lockpick this door. We don't want to go too much up the stairs. We want to stay at the bottom. Because if we go too high up, then they're gonna see us shoot this. Someone on the ground floor is gonna see us shoot that. She's dead. And his friend should be going to investigate that. He should be going look. And if he is, just gotta wait until he's not looking at us, and he can die. His friend's dead now. He's gonna have to make do with his bad knees and ankles all on his own now. I'm sure that he can do his guarding job sitting in a chair, just like some cashiers can do their job from sitting in a chair as well. You know, it's all about item scan per minute, per hour. If they can do it, I'm sure he can do this as well. He'll be fine. Don't worry about him. And my score doubled. Not time-wise, but leaderboard-wise. 29 now. And I unlocked something. That's great. This guy is a massive pain in the ass to kill because we either have to do it really fast or we have to wait for the panic to die down. And I'm doing it really fast. I don't care. I'm doing it really fast. It is easy to replicate, so long as you do what I'm doing. We're gonna throw that coin and unlock this door. We're gonna keep the door open with our ass. And we're gonna shoot right over there. That gets the waiter to go. We're gonna shoot the gargoyle down. And it shouldn't cause much panic, but that guy in the purple is in my way the guy in the red y you see how he's there okay good he moved great so that's gonna kill him we have to pick up our gun after each shot because if we leave it out even if no one can see us from where we are and there's no suspicion they will know that we're here and we can kill this guy now uh, it just worked out that way Whenever that woman dies from the gargoyle, his friend will go investigate so that we can just yank it down. We just have to make sure that no other NPCs are looking our way. And with that, there's this one done. Yay. <laughs> uh, thank you, Lucas, for the ride. This one uh, was stressful. This one was stressful to figure out because of level 3, because I did not want to wait. I, I didn't want to wait for Panic to die down. Because sometimes, uh, like after shooting the gargoyle, people will move out of their places and that guy will walk over to take a good look at it as well. He'll go and gawk at it. But that time he didn't. I would say it happens about one out of every two times. So... That's all I got for this one. And my score is 63rd. All of Mother of the Hundreds is the first time that happened. Although it was stressful, I did like it. Very creative. I'd like to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you'll enjoy the next one as well.
Goodbye. Goodbye.